But now Trump is using his own brand of positive thinking and prosperity gospel to dupe his self-proclaimed Christian supporters into believing that he is the second coming of Jesus himself. His own brand of the power of MAGA thinking, fusing his own perverse messianic message into his rallies, which alongside the passion of the MAGA faithful, gives them a church of the cult of Trump air, including the rituals that would seem familiar to Christian believers, hands raised in the air as a sign of surrender and reverence to God. Except at Trump rallies, it's reverence to Trump with a one finger salute, a hallmark of QAnon followers and a nod to that movement's slogan. Even though they were told to stop, you still see them from time to time. He's also taken to ending his speeches with a sermon of sorts, proclaiming that they are one movement and one family under God. But now that he's running for president so that he can stay out of prison, he's really ratcheted up the church-like energy at his rallies. As the New York Times notes, even more than in his past campaigns, he is framing his 2024 bid as a fight for Christianity, telling a convention of Christian broadcasters that just like in the battles of the past, we still need the hand of our Lord. How in the world is Joy Reid still on television? And how low does your IQ have to be to even swallow the crap that she spews out on a nightly basis? I imagine she appeals to the lowest level of American society. You know, people with average intelligence or low intelligence who walk around angry all the time. You know, people who have no happiness in life and blame everyone else for their misery. Now, let me tell you something. Most people on television, and me here speaking to you on a video, speak at a rate of about 150 to 160 words per minute. If you speak faster than that, it doesn't allow your audience to comprehend what you're saying. Speaking faster only allows the audience to pick up bits and pieces of the conversation that you're having with them. That's why people who speak at sales seminars talk really fast. They try to get their point across really fast so you're not listening to everything that they have to say. They slow down when there's sales points where things they want to accentuate, but they speak up real fast when they want to just go through things and get to the presentation. Their job, the only reason they're on stage is to sell you something. Joy Reid speaks at nearly 180 words per minute, and she speaks at a very high comprehension level, probably at a high school level. Most people who speak, unfortunately, when you write a script or you talk to people on camera, you try to have a third to fifth grade reading level. That doesn't mean that you're condescending, doesn't mean you're being stupid to people. It's easier for people to digest. You see, Joy Reid speaks that fast, not because she's trying to show her intelligence, but instead because she's trying to confuse and misinform her audience. Basically, her game is to dazzle people with bullshit without them realizing they're being bedazzled. In this video we're gonna go through, she accuses Donald Trump voters of being in a cult. And as for a self-proclaimed red letter Christian, she calls herself that, she is displaying pure evil and I dare say blasphemous words as she speaks about Donald Trump and us, Donald Trump voters. I'm not a pastor. I'm not a priest, I'm not a theologian, I'm not prepared, nor am I trained to pass judgment on Joy Reid. In fact, there's only one person who can pass final judgment on Joy Reid. But I truly feel that she's being incredibly blasphemous. So let's take a look at this video and we're gonna go through it. It's kind of about a seven minute video. I don't know how many times I'll actually speak through it, but you can see for yourself how evil she sounds and how she actually is trying to tell people that we, Donald Trump voters, are brainwashed cultists. But now Trump is using his own brand of positive thinking and prosperity gospel to dupe his self. Oh, see, see how fast she went through there? So you don't really pay attention to what she said prosperity gospel. I don't think Trump's speaking a prosperity gospel. In fact, he's not speaking a gospel whatsoever. She says so many untruths. Now, let me just change the word. She says so many lies as she talks. You won't believe how many happened in the first 30 seconds. Let's continue. Proclaimed Christian supporters into believing that he is the second coming of Jesus himself. I don't even have to say anything. You guys know how ridiculous that is. And in fact, that's why some of the stuff I'm saying, she is actually, as a self-proclaimed Christian, being extremely 
blasphemous. His own brand of the power of MAGA thinking, fusing his own perverse messianic message. In perverse messianic message, as if we believe that Donald Trump is a messiah. How wrong is she? I mean, I'll just let you go ahead and make your own opinion based on what you hear her say. To his rallies, which alongside the passion of the MAGA faithful, gives them a church of the cult of Trump air. I don't know who she's talking about. These people must be idiots if they listen to this stuff. But did you notice how she made a mockery of the passion? That wasn't by accident. Including the rituals that would seem familiar to Christian believers. Hands raised in the air as a sign of surrender. And I was in church yesterday. It's Sunday. Many of you were probably in church yesterday. Many of you probably raised your hand as well up to the Lord. And she's mocking that? Why? Why would you mock that? Especially if you're supposedly a Christian. Why would you mock people giving praise to the Lord? By the way, real quick side note, I want to thank every single one of you who have been watching my videos. I just went over 100,000 subscribers and that is just amazing to me and I couldn't have done it without you guys watching and spreading the videos. But let's get back to Miss uh, Reverence to God. Except that Trump rallies, it's reverence to Trump with a one finger salute, a hallmark of QAnon followers. And <sighs> man, they won't give up on this QAnon stuff, will they? Not, not, not understanding there was no such thing as QAnon, but never mind. Nod to that movement's slogan. Even though they were told to stop, you still see them from time to time. So saying where where we go one, we go all, that's a problem. You, you need to have people stop saying where we go one, we go all. That's that's a problem, that's, that's evidence of a cult of somehow. He's also taken to ending his speeches with a sermon of sorts. Procl no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I mean? I didn't make this up. This woman is batshit crazy. Claiming that they are one movement and one family under God. But now that he's running for president so that he can stay out of prison. That's why he's running for president. In case you didn't know, Donald Trump is running for president so he can stay out of prison. That was his sole objective. Now you understand that's his campaign st stance. That's his campaign policy. Hey, vote for me so I can stay out of jail, said nobody. He's really ratcheted up the church-like energy at his rallies. I'm not even going to comment. You, you guys can see. As the New York Times notes, even more than in his past campaigns, he is framing his 2024 bid as a fight for Christianity, telling a convention of Christian broadcasters that just like in the battles of the past, we still need the hand of our Lord. That's not having anything to do with him being messianic. We have seen, there is no doubt, that there can be no doubt that there has been an intense attack on Christianity. Many, many, many Trump voters happen to be Christian. You remember, hmm, maybe about two weeks ago, the current guy, Dementia Joe, declared it a, you know, what day of visibility on Easter? So, you know, why would anybody, you know, want to basically embrace Christianity and understand that there's been an attack on Christianity? It just keeps happening and happening and happening. We're just trying to live our lives. And you guys just with a blowhorn, just keep trying to over and over ram this stuff down our throat. You got 150 days celebrating the alternative lifestyle. Give us a break, man. Enough with that. But anyway, let's continue. A social media platform in recent months, Trump has shared a courtroom style sketch of himself sitting next to Jesus and a video that repeatedly proclaims, God gave us Trump to lead the country. Well, some people believe and they have prayed that there would be a man like Donald Trump to lead the country. Why is that bad, Joy? You're a Christian. Wouldn't you want to pray for the best for America? Unless, of course, you don't want the best for America. And the reality is that his venomous snake oil is worth The reality. Okay, so she's going to punctuate that. The reality is that his venomous snake oil, his serpentine-like speech. That's the reality. That's the reality for you and the people you're trying to message. You can't put that on us. We're not the ones who believe it's venomous and snake oil, and it's definitely not reality. I'm going to cut you apart here, Joy. You're wrong, wrong, completely wrong here. Working as Trump has either directly or indirectly compared himself to Jesus, his followers have continued their descent 
into cult-like madness. So, <laughs> you, I, have continued our descent into cult-like madness. We are basically like, you know, the guys drinking the Kool-Aid. We, we have no thoughts of our own. We have no ability to cognitively think. We're just descending into cult-like mad, cult-like madness. You hear this crap and we're only a couple minutes in. Parroting his persecution complex right back as if he is being punished for their sins. Because I'm being indicted for you and never forget. When they are indicting him, we are being indicted. They want to silence me because I will never let them silence you. It's really to get him out of being able to run mm -hmm. for president. That, that's all it is. It's to take our eyes off of wanting him. Our enemies want to take away my freedom because I will never let them take away your freedom. They're trying to persecute him for the same things that they have been doing all along. They're not after me, they're after you. I just happen to be standing in the way. Okay, he's doing this for us as a country to make the changes we need to make, and he's the target where we don't have to be. Anybody believe that to be untrue. That doesn't, you don't have to be in a cult to understand what's going on with Donald Trump and how they've got these trumped up charges, no pun intended, where they're just coming after him in wave after wave after wave and they spout the 91 indictments as, as some indi indication that it's true. They've got, you know, January Sixers basically thrown into a gulag. They've got grandmas going to jail. Do you think and we've seen what's happened in the last couple of days with Elon Musk in Brazil. You think they're going to stop? You think they're going to stop if Donald Trump wasn't in the way? Well, all we have to do is go back uh, about a year and a half ago before Elon Musk bought Twitter. How many of you watching right now were booted off of Facebook, booted off of Twitter, booted off of Instagram? How many of you? We don't have to wonder if certain powers that be are looking to basically shut us up. We've already seen it. Many of us have already endured it. My wife still can't get on Twitter. It's it's insane. Ex at this point. She's been talking to some of the ex people to see if she can get back on, but it was a complete purge. Joy Reid and the people who watch her show must not understand that. They may not understand what happened when millions of us were basically said, shut up, we don't want to hear from you guys ever again. And yes, they have been persecuted. Many people are still sitting in jail. So I'm sorry, Joy, you're talking to an audience that really has no frigging clue what's been going on in America and you're perpetuating it. Let's continue. Now is Stephen Hassan, founder of the Freedom of Mind Resource Center and the author of The Cult of Trump. Uh, Stephen, it is good to see you um, talk. So just to set the stage here, because this guy is a whack job of epic proportions. She has accused us all of being in a cult. We can't even extricate ourselves from this. So she's brought on this guy who actually was in a cult. And he's going to tell everybody that he sees the same same type of things. And I wish I was sitting there because I would have a question for him. I'm going to tell you what that question is in a second. Let's listen to him for a second. Talk to me about how that happens, what we just saw there. How do people go from ordinary people to believing that someone like Donald Trump, of all people, a, a, a giant, enormous sinner... Is Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. So remember what I said, Joy Reid calls herself a red letter Christian. Red letter Christian means she really believes in the red letters in the Bible. Red letters are indicative of the words that Jesus spoke. And she just called Donald Trump an incredibly big, huge sinner. Doesn't every single Christian understand we're all sinners? How do you say that to somebody that he's a sinner when you don't call yourself a sinner? We're all sinners. None of us are perfect. Some of us are far from perfect. I'm far from perfect. I like to think myself being perfect. My wife reminds me all the time that I'm not, unfortunately. But how can you say somebody else is a sinner? That person's a sinner. That person is, is an evil, non-doing person. Because I say so. Like I said earlier, I'm not a pastor. I'm not a preacher. I'm not a theologian. I am not equipped or trained. But I am trained in the words of Jesus Christ, where he says, <laughs> and we all know, we're all sinners. 
That, that's pure and simple. There is no pass for anybody else to, to say that you're a sinner, you're a bigger sinner. Nope, we're all sinners. Sorry for that little diatribe, but let's continue here. Is not just speaking for God, but is in a sense God. Which he has never said. He has never said he's a vessel, never said he's a prophet, never said he is speaking for God completely making it up. Shame on you, Joy. Yeah, it's a pleasure to be on your show again, Joy. As you know, I was recruited into the Moonies, so it happened to me, mm -hmm. and I got radicalized, and I believe this fat Korean billionaire was the Messiah and greater than Jesus, and I thought that democracy was satanic. We had to infiltrate the government and install a theocracy. And after my deprogramming in 1976, I want- Whoa, 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 stop there stop there stop there after his deprogramming in 1970s whatever year he just said you understand what where they're going right now that you me my wife we're gonna need deprogramming that's how bad it is right now we have fallen prey to this cult leader that we're gonna need the same kind of deprogramming in the future. I wanted to understand brainwashing and mind control, so I immersed myself in social psychology, learned about hypnosis, and have been doing my life work of 47 years to explain. All right, so your, your life work of 47 years has, has delved into psychosis, brainwashing, needing deprogramming, people who have been led astray by, you know, different kind of people. Let me ask you a question. Depending upon your chromosomes, you're either or a girl. What kind of brain <laughs> brainwashing does it take for you to believe you're on the wrong side of the aisle? That you're a boy, but now you're a girl. Have you delved into that with your 47 years of knowledge to understand what kind of brainwashing that would take? Probably not. I would venture to say Joy Reid would never ask this guy, hey, listen, are there is there a cult wrapped around people who want to, you know, have that day of visibility, who believe they are something that they're not? I mean, that, to me, that is a much deeper MK Ultra brainwashing activity than someone following a political candidate. Hey, honey, I woke up this morning and I'm gonna put on a dress and lop off my junk. So I think, that, you know, I am now what I am and what I was, I no longer am. I'm being confusing right now because I don't want the big brother to come s stepping down on me, but you get my point, don't you? I'm, I'm sure you do. Explain to the public how intelligent, educated people's minds can get hacked, not unlike how computers can get hacked mm -hmm. through malware where you deceptively click on something and hypnotically get indoctrinated into this alternate reality. So that alternate reality where you believe that you are something that you aren't, have you delved into that? Because every time he brings something up, I'm gonna talk about something that's actually happening in America. You, you cannot possibly believe that one person can become something that they're not unless you exactly have been hacked upstairs. However, the good news is it's not permanent and people wake up. Oh, but obviously what I've been talking about, unfortunately, is permanent. Once you lop off the you know what, it's gone. It's not coming back. You're done. It, it's forever. To me, that kind of cult of personality, if you want to call it, is even worse. It is permanent. You just can't go to some deprogramming and say, can I get my junk back? I, I, I'm kind of missing my junk. I'd like to you know, go back to what I was supposed to be. Can you help me deprogram that? No, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't fix that. I, I really, you know, my 47 years of experience won't allow me to help you get your junk back. Whew, this guy's whacked. And they are embarrassed and ashamed, as I felt in 1976. But more and more people are leaving the MAGA cult. <laughs> sure, buddy. And I do think that it's important that people not just yell at people who are still trapped in this delusion or block their family and friends who they... So can you tell me what that delusion is? I, I would love to know and hear you define what the delusion is that you think that 
you know, people who favor a certain political candidate. I, I mean, I, I don't know what delusion I'm under, I, except for one delusion, if you want to call it that, is that if he doesn't win, America is toast. I don't know how you can convince me otherwise. I could just show you, you know, visuals, videos of what's going on at the border. I can show you what's going on in the courts. I can show you what's going on medically with the lopping off the junk. If that doesn't stop, if that doesn't stop real soon, we're going off a cliff. Is that delusional? Tell me how, tell me how a society survives with all of that and more happening. They've loved, but open doors and just say, no matter what, I love you. You're my aunt, my uncle, my, my sister, my brother. And ask questions in a respectful, curious way that. Yeah, that's happening from the left. Hey, Barry. I love you. You're my brother. I understand that you're having this Trumpian problem that you somehow have, have believed that this guy could help the America that we used to know. So I, let me embrace you and give you a hug. That happens all the time with leftists, doesn't it? Hell no, it doesn't. It gets them to start realizing they've been conned and that their minds have been hijacked. Right, and I think that people don't want to believe they've been conned. Look, my, my mother came from Guyana and she used to have to correct people that Jonestown was made up by Americans in a cult. Not that it was not a, a real city in Guyana, but whether it's Jim Jones or David Koresh or or even Charles Manson, as you said, like intelligent religious people who had true religious uh, fervor joined them, believing that they were going to be led to Jesus. All right, so l let's let's talk about what, what she just said there. David Koresh, the Branch Covidians, Davidians, whatever they were, and they all holed up in you know this one house, and he was having sex with many women. Nut job. I'm pretty sure Donald Trump hasn't put together a commune and told us all to move in where he could begin, you know, having his way with whoever. Charles Manson, mass murderer. As far as I know, nobody has gone and tried to cut the baby out of a actress's stomach. No, nope, haven't, haven't seen that happen. And then the other guy, Jim Jones, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure that there hasn't been any event, any rally anywhere where Donald Trump has passed out Kool-Aid, laced with cyanide and say, here, drink this and die with me. It hasn't happened. How did you make that leap from three essentially mass murderers, murderers to Donald Trump? But we're the cultists. We're the nut jobs. You sure about that? Or to Christ, only for these men to say, oh no, by the way, I'm the Lord and Savior. Trump has reached that point where he's done that pivot from saying that he's leading a movement of believers to saying that the, the belief should be in him, that he is the Messiah. Once you get to that point where you're- Please do tell me where that conversation, that rally, that speech has taken place. Please tell me where Donald Trump has stood on stage and said he was the Messiah. Believe in me, I'm the new Jesus. Because I can tell you right now, the day he would say that would be the day that I would be out. I would be done with him and any other follower, any other voter, if they said, yeah, this, this guy here, Trump, yeah, he's the new Jesus. And then he got on stage, I am the new Jesus. Hey, honey, what time's, a, you know, if we pick up the car at the valet, we gotta get out of here, this guy's nuts. But she's nuts. This expert, the Looney Tune guy here, He's nuts. These are the people who are absolute nuts. And they try to put their nuttery on us when it's obvious they are the ones who are completely batshit, you know what? Now, accepting that reality, how do you walk someone back? It isn't just loving kindness and questions. There, it seems to me it can't be that simple. No, it, it's more, but I... Oh, you're gonna tell us more. Okay, here's the plan, because we've heard this from Hillary Clinton as well. We gotta open up these deep programming camps. I mean, listen what they got in store for you. I, I wanna just uh, challenge the idea that Trump is a genius in doing oh, this I all don't think himself. That all. Yeah, agree with that. Mark Burnett, who recruited him for The Apprentice mm -hmm. as part of the Christian Dominionism movement that wants to s destroy the separation of church and state, all, all the white. Wait, 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 how did we get into that? I thought you were talking about cultism. Now you're talking about the separation of church church and state and, and having it destroyed. So you're, you're now talking about changing the constitution. You think we want to change it and make sure that, you know, Christian is, is the only religion of the land, which I have not heard Donald Trump say either. 
introduced him to new apostolic reformation members and other Big priests course. who have some 40 million americans who are following people who claim to be apostles or G or, or prophets themselves joy that <laughs> i haven't seen anyone put up an air that they are apostolic in nature whatsoever i haven't seen anyone talk about being a prophet they are telling their audience what they want their audience to think. Now understand that she's got a television show that comes on every single night on MSNBC. And what they are, do, are doing is programming their audience. They are letting their audience know this is what these evil people that follow Trump do. And this is what they're going to need to basically come back to being normal. They think he's God. They think he's Jesus. Well, you know what's funny about that? Actually, it's sad. If you don't believe in God, if you are agnostic or atheist, why would you care if people believed that Donald Trump was Jesus? Because you actually believe Jesus doesn't exist. It's a fairy tale. It never happened. So why would that bother you? It, it shouldn't even, it, it should be a joke. <laughs> Those guys listen to, you know, they listen to fairy tales and some guy in a cloud. It doesn't make any sense. They are doing their best to do their MK Ultra routine on their audience. This isn't meant for you and me, except for me critiquing it. This is meant to basically injure the audience she's speaking to. That's nefarious. Say God told them that Trump won in 2020, therefore ignore all the evidence because this is Satan and it's fake news, right? But there are, there are puppet masters, including, I believe, Vladimir Putin. Oh, so now we're gonna bring in the Russians. It's the Russians who did it. Subtlety. Subtlety has always been how they handle things. Uh, but also Christian nationalists, Nazis, and other people with agenda. So you put in Christian nationalists, which who knows what the hell that means, together with Nazis. And you started off this show by saying that people shouldn't be worried about persecution. You come full circle. You said, hey, these people are worried about being persecuted themselves. And just now on your show, a couple minutes later, you compared Christian nationalists to Nazis. Is to push fossil fuel, oils, etc. Wait, 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 wait. So we've gone from Christian nationalists to being Nazis to Donald Trump, you know, actually being Jesus and the Messiah to also fossil fuels being a problem. They've thrown this all into one big mixing bowl of nuttery and saying that's what the problem is. These people believe in just, you know, create stupid stuff. Meanwhile, she's sitting in a studio that's air conditioned, that has lights, that's being fueled by, wait for it, fossil fuels. That are manipulating these true believers. But to answer your question, the critical thing is explaining the influence continuum from it, from. Oh, he's got a chart. Now he's got a play chart as to, you know, this influence continuum, how we're all just nuts. Ethical to unethical influence, and that ethical influence is informed consent, re respecting conscience, and mind control authoritarian cultism creates this uh, uh, dissociative disorder where people... He just spit up on himself. Nobody knows what the hell he just said. And that's what I'm telling you. They are using these big words and they're using charts to basically try to convey authority to an audience that's sitting there with bonbons and popcorn and Snickers bars who have no friggin' idea what this guy is talking about. People are dependent and obedient. They become clones of... <laughs> I don't know about you. Okay, I'm six foot two and I weigh about 320 pounds. Shut up. <laughs> 320 pounds. I, I, I'd be afraid if there was a clone walking around looking like me. You'd probably be afraid if, hey, there's a clone of Barry out there. Oh my God. They made two of those guys. That would be really scary. But now we're into clonism. So, He's really gone down the rabbit hole here. The cult member. The critical thing with MAGA people is I recommend people talk about Chinese communist brainwashing and these methods and pimps and traffickers because they all use behavior control, information control, thought control, and emotional control wow. to create. Wow. So MAGA people, like people who want to see America great again, are similar to the Chinese Communist Party and sex traffickers. So 
We are bad because we're Christian nationalists. We're like Nazis. Oh, and you're like a Chinese communist. And you're like a sex trafficker. All built in together and melded and formed in one big ball of yuck. I'm sorry. This new pseudo identity. And by talking about a group they agree is a brainwashing group, we can back backtrack yeah. and ask people to think back before they started believing in what Trump. What did they actually believe? Yeah. Including you, you what did they believe about, about God and what did they believe and what did they read actually in the red letters of the Bible? I'm sorry. I just wanted to take you through some buffoonery. I know some of you know about Joy Reid, but I don't think you realize how deep it's getting out there. You just watched some guy, I don't even know his pedigree, know anything about him, compare us, voters who support Trump, to climate deniers, Charles Manson followers, David Koresh followers, Jim Jones followers, sex traffickers, Nazis, and Chinese communists. We are all of that wrapped up in one tight little box. But we're the cultists. We're the ones who are insane and need deprogramming. We're the ones who need to be taken to some place where we're watched and have somebody talk to us like this as we watch the little watch go in front of our eyes. We're the ones who are crazy. That was a big, giant dose of crazy. That was a huge, magnificent, unbelievable Amazon warehouse size box of crazy. They are terrified, absolutely terrified of Donald Trump becoming president again. They are absolutely terrified of America actually becoming great again. Everything he said that we have been brainwashed of is what they are proposing. If you notice what he said, he goes, they don't understand, you know, they might be Chinese communists. It's caused by Russia. They're just like sex traffickers. They're, they're afraid of climate change. He just basically outlined the Biden campaign policy. That entire seven or eight minute interview and me talking about it was basically them underscoring the Biden campaign policy. They want their people to think that we're nuts. They want their people to think that we're dangerous because we believe in God, because we want to see America great again, because we want to see the familial unit get back together. All of these things have nothing to do with their ideology. It's foreign to them. I was going to make a video talking today about Trump's policy on, how can I say the word, you know, the Roe v. Wade thing that he put out today, but I can't say it. They have stopped our speech. We can't talk about certain things. Of course we feel persecuted. We get booted off of social media. We can't say certain words. You're not allowed to say certain things that could, quote, offend people. What about offending us? You had no problem just getting on television, on a national television show, on a news network where you compared us to Nazis, sex traffickers, the Chinese Communist Party, Manson followers, David Koresh followers, and Jim Jones juice drinkers. But we're the nuts. I've gone on. This is one of my longer videos. I'm sorry if you're still here. Thank you. Hey, thank you again for getting me to 100,000 subscribers. Tell everybody about the channel. Subscribe if you haven't seen it. And uh, stay calm. Everything's going to be okay. You know why? God wins. Talk to you soon.